around doing a little painting here. And I ended up just putting plastic in the headlight spot because there's a couple bolts that's like really hard to get to. Uh, I'm going to have to do a bunch of different coats because uh, I don't know if it's the temperature or what, but this paint, can you see that? Huh. Uh, this paint likes to run a little bit if you just spraying it on normal you don't even have to spray it on thick it likes to run so um, I have to put on real real thin coats and just a whole bunch of them I guess but yeah I think I like that color better too he he looked at the piece I brought down I, I, I brought down a couple of pieces of it for him one that had been painted with this color and one that hadn't and he said he liked it so that's what we're going with. I'm going to leave these silver stickers. These, I'm leaving those on there because that's going to be what I'm going to mask off to repaint the silver. And that way I know exactly where the old ones were because stuff like this, that matches up with one on the next panel. So they have to be exactly right. So I'm just going to leave the stickers under it and then I'll mask them and then spray them. But it's it's turned out okay. I'm just going to have to put a bunch of coats on. The yellow seems like it likes to run better than the silver did. So, yeah, I think it'll turn out good. Look like a brand new scooter when I get done. Got a little bit more done. That is done. That piece and that piece, they're both done. I got the silver part masked off. But the yellow part is done. And I actually put on a little bit of it just to see how it's gonna look. Makes it gonna look pretty good. Silver and yellow still goes good together. They're a little different than the original. Not much. Well, the yellow is the silver. Well, there's the silver part of that. And here is the silver on the front fender. They're pretty close. Yeah, they're about the same. I still have to redo the front fender, though. It's got a scratch or two on it here. Cut. Got a couple more pieces laying over here, and uh, I don't know, you call it the bumper or something like that, I guess, that goes on the back windshield. <laughs> this one didn't turn out good. I'm going to have to let it completely dry and sand that all back down. There must have been something on there, and it bubbled up, so I'm going to have to redo that. Here's my repair. I haven't drilled my hole back in it yet. But the rest of it turned out pretty good. It's just really, it's just really that piece. But it has to dry completely all the way before you would be able to sand that stuff back off. Got this sanded down. And I'm going to probably give this a little paint job. I think I can leave it on there and uh, put plastic over that. I don't know. I may have to take it off. It's just it's a lot of stuff to take off and I'm only going to paint the top. I'm going to mask it about right here. I'm going to paint this top part black because it looks kind of good with the gray. I guess I could try to find that but it looks kind of good with that gray and I figure to cover this I'll make it all black. But on to the next step. Okay, there it is with the masking off. Looks pretty good. And so does that one. 
Turn that all right. Now I'll probably paint that top part back yellow again. I don't know. At first I thought it looked better like that. This one, as you can see, that's the original yellow right there. I was debating on whether I would paint that or not. The problem I run into is the fact that this right here is going to match up with the top of that. So if I paint all this silver, then I'm going to have to come back in here and make this silver and bring it up this way to a point. I don't know. That might actually look better like that. I don't know. Anybody got an opinion? Do you think, uh, think it should be painted silver on up there like this one is? See, I painted that one silver. But, I don't know. What do you think? If I change that, I've got to change that too. And I'm going to have to get some masking tape because this has been what I've been using. And I had to go right in here and take some paint thinner and clean all the way around there because it seeped in. And I also had to clean the end of it up here. So I'm going to have to wait until I get some masking tape because this stuff doesn't work good for that. Well, I mean it shouldn't. It's, that's not its intended purpose. So that's fine. And I hope it doesn't mess anything up. But when I was unmasking that, I had one little drop of sweat hit right there. On an otherwise really shiny, nice looking surface. And then you got a big drop. So, I uh, guess I should watch <laughs> when I'm doing this and not get over top of it like that because uh, a drop of sweat can end up messing it up. I may have to redo the bottom of that. But it's, it's coming along. Alrighty then, yeah, I managed to get that piece off. And it is right over here. I mashed off the top part of it, painted it black. I wanted to do flat black, but I didn't have any flat black. I may actually wait before I put it on and go back over it with flat. But it's going to be quite a contrast between, between the gray. We can actually try it and see here. not bad kind of makes it look like two different pieces I guess yeah I think it'll be all right I don't know I may end up going the whole the whole thing I may ask him see what he thinks but I don't think it looks bad it's better than having a big hole in it oh yeah, and then this is the so I better start from this side. If I can get a hold of it. Yeah. I thought it would all hold together, but I guess I was wrong. Oh, I'm not even showing it on the camera. I'm getting mad for that. I'll be making a video. I need to make sure that I'm showing what I'm wanting to show, don't I? You all want to see too or you wouldn't be watching. There we go. There's that. I know I couldn't cover that up. <laughs> Just got probably some important stuff on it. But yeah, I think it turned out alright. What I may do, see, I'm thinking of possibly getting some pinstriping for the rest of the scooter. I may take a piece of pinstriping put across there, make a dividing line, and I may do the same right here. I was thinking of running a pinstripe, a black pinstripe right down through there. 
or maybe some other color. I'll look and see. Okay. Let's go that part. Okay, I think I'm going to do a little, uh, I think I might be in the camera. Got it. Uh, put some parts on here, see how she turns out. All right, well, that's got it stuck back. Of course, I'm going to redo the seat, too, but got it all stuck back together. It looks like it still all fits like it's supposed to. It looks pretty good. I think that'll probably turn out all right. Yeah, not bad. Now... On this other side, I got a couple of pieces. That piece, I'm going to do some more work on it. And the other piece that goes right there, I got to do some more work on it. So I don't have this side all together yet. Let's see, there's that piece. Also, I didn't put the treads on. They're over here still. Those go, of course, right on there. Nice out of the way. Yep, those go on there, and that's kind of the thing that you stick your foot on as you're riding. And I don't think it's turned out too bad. The bike part, I think it's all right. I think it looks good like that. I'll show it to him, see what he thinks. I just wanted to stick it back together and see what she's going to look like. I think it's going to turn out all right. I got to continue the gray. Oops. Sorry there. About dropped the phone. Uh, it's going to continue the gray stripe up. And there's one right there. And there's a stripe that goes right around there. Still got to do those, but I've got a mask off anyway, so I figured I'd just stick stuff back together so I can see how it's all coming together. I still need to pull the fender back off because, you, as you can tell, that fender is a different color. So I'm going to have to still pull that off and redo it. Right, that's what I got so far today. Thank you for watching. See you the next time.